Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn Mathematics from Zero. Today we are going to discuss exercise 1.3 NCRT class 7 from question number 6 to 9. Okay, so let's start up question number 6. Question number 6 is given A certain freezing process requires that room temperature be lowered from 40. 40 degrees Celsius at the rate of 5 degrees Celsius every hour. What will be the room temperature 10 hours after the process begins? Okay. That means in a room, okay, and the earlier initially the room temperature was 40 degrees Celsius. Okay. Then that room temperature is lowered. That means it is decreased in every hour. 5 degrees Celsius. Lowered means decreased. That means we have to apply negative. Okay. So, in 1 hour 5 degrees Celsius, that means from 40, we have to subtract minus 5 degree. Okay. Then, what will be the room temperature after 10 hour? After uh, 10 hours after the process begins. Okay. That means in 1 hour, 5 degrees Celsius decreased. Neg next hour again 5 degree decreased. Then after 10 hour what will be the temperature of that room. Okay. So how to do the solution. Solution you have to write like that. Initially. Initial. Temperature. initial temperature is what 40 degree celsius okay initial temperature is 40 degree celsius then the temperature a lowered temperature is considered as what negative so you have to write lowered temperature Temperature is considered considered as negative. Okay. Then temperature change in one hour. What temperature temperature change in one hour in one hour is what? 5 degree that means it is lowered so minus 5 degree celsius now you have to find out for how many hour 10 hours so i will give you a comma here temperature change you have to write the full word okay temperature change in 10 hours 10 hours it will be what minus 5 into 10 degree celsius okay so it will be minus 50 degree celsius so initially the temperature was 40 degree celsius then after 10 hour, 10 hours the temperature changes minus 50 degree that means from 40 it changed up to minus 50 degree now what we have to find out final room temperature okay you have to write final room temperature room temperature after after 10 hours it will be what earlier 40 degree now minus 50 degree after 10 hours so it will be what 40 degree minus 50 degree celsius 40 minus 50 it becomes 10 degree this is the room temperature of that room after 10 hours understood now come to the next question question number seven it is given in a class test containing 10 question okay so, 5 marks are awarded for every correct answer. 5 marks is given. 
for the correct answer and minus 2 marks is awarded for every incorrect and 0 for question not attempted. Okay. So, here it is given Mohan gets 4 correct, how much? 4 correct and 6 incorrect answer. So, what is his score? Okay. So, first we have to write what is the marks for the correct and for incorrect. Okay. So, we have to write marks um, for it's correct it's correct answer equal what? 5 now Mohan gets how many correct answer? 4 so for 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 correct correct answers marks is equal to what if the each means one for one correct answer marks is five then for for four correct answer it will be what four into five so marks is what 20 okay then total marks uh, then you have to write um, just a minute wait you have to write like that for for one incorrect for one incorrect answer marks equal to what is the marks for one incorrect minus two now Mohan has how many incorrect answer six so for six incorrect for six incorrect answer marks equal to minus two into six it becomes minus 12. Now see what is the total number of questions? 10. So here 4, here 6. Total 10 question. So we have to find out what is the total score of Mohan. So we have to write total total score of Mohan to find out the total score what to do you have to add the marks 20 plus minus 12 ok so it is what 20 minus 12 that means this is the correct this is the incorrect so total marks will be what 8 ok this is the correct answer now come to the next part of this question Reshma gets 5 correct and 5 incorrect answer ok now we have to find out for Rashma so solution we have to write uh, for for one correct for one correct answer marks equal to what 5 sorry marks equal to 5 ok now how many correct answer 5 so for 5 correct answers marks equal what? 5 into 5 it will be 25 ok again how many incorrect? 5 incorrect. Then for 1 for 1 incorrect incorrect answer marks equal to minus 2. So how many incorrect? 5. So for 
5 incorrect answer marks equal to what minus 2 into 5 so it becomes minus 10 now total score of total score of Rashma equal what? 25 plus minus 10. Okay. So it is what? 25 plus into minus minus 10. What will be the marks? 15. Okay. 15 is the marks. Next question. This is the sub question 3. Hena get 2 correct, 5 incorrect. Out of 7, that means 2 here, 5 here. So, total question is that? 10. So, that means he has not attempted the raised 3 equations. For that 3 equations, he will get what? 0 marks. Okay, 0 marks. So, uh, you have to, this one you have to try yourself. 2 correct, 5 incorrect. Then for not attempting question, you have to give the 0 mark. Okay, so answer you have to find yourself. If you have any doubt, then please write in the comment box. Okay, come to the next question. Question number 8. A cement company earns a profit of rupees 8 per bag of white cement. Sold and a loss of rupees 5 per bag for grey cement. Sold. Okay. The company sell, sells 3,000 bags of white cement and 5,000 grey cement in a month. What is the profit or loss? Okay. That means for one white cement bag, the company gets how many rupees profit? 8 rupees of selling. Okay. Again, for uh, selling grey cement, uh, for selling grey cement, then loss is what? Pi bag, it is 5. Now, they are selling white bag 3000 and grey bag 5000. So, what will be the profit or loss? First, we have to find out it is profit or it is loss. Now, come to the answer. First, we have to write the profit of one white cement bag. Okay. So, profit of profit of one white cement bag equal to what? Profit is rupees 5. Yes. Now, how many bags they are selling? 3000. So, profit of profit of selling Now, profit of selling 3000 white bag. I have not written cement. Okay. It means white cement only. White bag equal to what? For one bag, 5. For 3000, 5 into 3000. So, it is 15,000. Okay. 15,000 profit. Again, Loss of selling, loss of selling one grey bag or one grey cement bag, cement bag is what? So I have written wrong. It should be eight. Yes, eight. So I have to write it here eight. So it will be one rupees eight eight so twenty four thousand okay now loss of selling one gray cement bag that is only five rupees five now loss of selling how many bags five thousand selling 
5000 gray cement bag it is what rupees 5 into 5000 okay it will be 25000 yes 25000 now see here loss is loss is greater than profit that means definitely the company the loss the money yes now in the question it is asked what is the profit or loss definitely it is loss because loss is greater now we have to find out that how much they have loss so we have to write total loss total loss equal to what 25000 minus 24000 so what will be the loss rupees rupees 1000 sorry i have written 10 less 1000 okay 1000 rupees they have loss okay come to the next part of this question this is the last or uh, not the last okay one more question is left a cement company earns okay this part is same only 8 rupees per bag for white cement profit and loss of loss of 5 rupees per bag for gray cement what is the number of white cement bag what is the number of white cement bag it must sell to have neither profit nor loss neither profit nor loss that means profit and loss both are same equal when both profit and loss are equal that means no profit no loss if the number of gray bags sold is 64 6400 bags okay that means we don't know what is the number of cement bag they are selling but we know that say number of selling gray bag is 6400 okay then what will be the number of white cement bag that they have made a profit nor loss that means profit equal to loss okay so for that we have to write what well, we don't know the number of white cement bag okay let number of number of white cement bag white cement bag suppose x okay now say here it is given the what is the loss of one gray cement bag 5 so loss of one gray cement gray cement bag equal to what rupees 5 okay now how much they are selling 6400 now loss of loss of selling 6400 gray cement bag cement bag is what rupees 5 into 6400 then what is the money for loss uh 32000 okay now see for one white cement bag profit is 8 but we have considered here how many cement bag x so profit of profit of selling one white cement bag bag is what rupees 8 now how many we are selling suppose considered as x so uh you need to write so profit of 
profit of selling x white ball a uh, white bag white cement bag if one bag has 8 rupees then x then it becomes 8x okay like suppose one bag 8 rupees two bag 2 into 8 so for x bag 8 into x okay now here it is mentioned that neither profit nor loss that means what profit and loss are same equal so this is the loss and this is the profit according to the question we have to equate both profit and loss. So, we have to write according to the question what uh, 8x equal to 32,000. Okay. Now, we have to find out the value of x. It becomes 32,000 divided by 8. So, 4,000. Okay. So, our answer is what? Number of Number of White Cement bag Is 4000 For Naval Loss no profit okay no profit okay okay come to the next question which is the last question of this exercise okay replace the uh, replace the blank with an integer to make it a true statement okay number a what is given that means with minus 3 what we have to multiply that we will get 27. Now say so this is negative. But our answer is what? Positive. That means definitely this number should be what? Negative. Then only we will get the positive answer. Now suppose I asked you which three what you have to multiply that you will get 6. Then what you will do? You have to do 6 divided by 3. It becomes 2. So similarly, here also, what to do? You have to divide 27 by 3. 27 by 3. It will be 9. So what will be the number? Minus 9. Why it is minus 9? Because when we will multiply two negative numbers, it becomes positive. Okay. Come to the question number B. B. With 5, what you have to multiply? That answer will be minus 35. Again, see, since this is positive, but our answer is negative. Definitely, this number become negative. Now, again, you have to just divide 35. Only you have to divide the digits number by 5. Then answer is 7. So, minus 7. Okay. Question number C. What number you have to multiply with minus 8? then it becomes minus 56. So, po it, this number become positive. Then only after multiplying we will get negative because this is negative. So, 56 divided by 8. It is 7. Okay. It is 7. Okay. So, the last question for today's class is D. Minus, uh, dash into minus 12 equal to 132. So, definitely answer is positive and this is negative. So, definitely this number should be negative. Now, 132 you just divided by 12. You can apply the simplest form also. 2, 6 are 12, 2, 6 are 12, then 2, 6 are 12. Now, 6 ones are 6, 6 elevens are. So, what will be the answer? Minus 11. Okay. This way, you can simplify. Okay. So, that's it for today. So, we have completed exercise 1.3 also. At home, you have to practice children. In the next class, we will discuss the next exercise. Till that, 
प्लीज कीप वॉचिंग माई वीडियोज थैंक यू एंड हैव ए नाइस डे